Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, the living Lord. No, I am not evangelist Shirley Knight Harris, as you can see, but I am standing in for her, sitting in for her today. Many of you know she's had knee surgery, but the Lord is the chief surgeon. So we know that she is in good hands and she's going to have a quick and speedy recovery and a great healing and she'll be back with you soon. But today we want to continue on with A Mother's Cry and let you know what it's all about. A Mother's Cry is dedicated to helping mothers to have a brighter life after experiencing the loss of a child due to murder. One of the main objectives of A Mother's Cry organization is to raise awareness of the effect that violence is having on our mother's lives. Violence is a big problem, not only for law enforcement, but also for the community. The society and leaders lack a true understanding of just how violence is hurting the mothers and the children. They are helping to create an environment where violence is an acceptable form of conflict resolution. But this is where a mother's cry comes in. Because when you have a system that seems to continue that trend of violence because they're not really treating the real situation, we know only things can change through the Word of God, through a person receiving Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Mother speaks about the scripture where it says the, the devil is coming into the windows and to 
get the male seed. He's after the male child. But see, that's where the word of God comes in. I've been reading Isaiah 58, 6th and 7th verses, and it says, loose the bands of wickedness. Because see, people are fasting and they're praying, but they're not fasting and praying for the right reasons. And this is the fast that our Lord and our Savior, our God has called. It says, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. When we begin to do these things, that's when you'll see a difference in your community. When you begin to pray, it says, if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. That's the word of God. That's God speaking. Now, mother has a program statement and it says, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. These are the words that Jesus spoke. Now we have to begin to take it serious, take it literally as a need for us to survive. Not only us, but for our seed, the male and the female to survive because some of the young girls are trying to act just as tough and wild as the boys. Hmm. So the thing for us to do is to get together. Mother speaks of having, you know, the upper room uh, where they come together and pray and read the scripture. You know, everybody needs to have a place in their home, in their house, in their apartment where they dedicated unto prayers and, and, and meditations and worship unto the Lord and reading the word of God because you need to sanctify something in your house that is only for you and God or for those of you who want to come and, and join with you, you know, that's where you go into this place, this room, this area, and let us seek the Lord together. You have a change in your situation. Now also, mother has a food program and she has a latchkey program for the children that come home alone. You know, there's a program that you can get involved with through her ministry. Uh, Evangelist Shirley Knight Harris Ministry. E-S-K-H-M is that ministry, Evangelist Shirley Knight Harris. Their email address is E-S-K-H-M at sbglobal.net. And her website is eskhm.com. The phone number is 310-748-0610. Again, that number is 310-748-0610. If you want to call her and, and wish her a speedy recovery, say a prayer for her. I'm sure she will not mind, okay? If you want to call into the studio while we're here live, you can do that at 323 nine six five one six zero zero a mother's cry now uh it says also jeremiah 9 and 17 thus said the lord of hosts consider and call for the mourning woman the woman that is low in spirit because she knows there's a lot going on she's not all flighty and frivolous and clowning and partying and drinking and smoking and hanging out on the corners hey hey baby what's up she's not that woman call for the woman that is, you know, sits kind of quiet and seems like she's lonely, but she's not alone. Seems like she's, she's, she's troubled, but she's bringing her troubles unto the Lord. They that come and send for the wailing women, those that are crying out to the Lord, that they may come, that they may come and tend to your situation. You don't know how good it is to have a person to call on in the time of need. Some prayer, some kind and good words, some healing words, a healing balm. You don't know what it's like until you're in that situation. But I guarantee you, you may not have to be in that situation, but it's good to know 
who you can call for someone else who's in that situation. You understand? So there it is. Now, Mother has written some words to a song, Step Back, Satan, Step Back. We commanding you to step back. He says, I'm going to run this race for my Lord. So you might as well step back. Step back, Satan. I've got to move on up a little higher, for I am striving to make heaven my home. I know that I have my own special angel watching over me. My Lord has a shield of protection wrapped all around me. So you might as well step back. Step back, Satan. I've got to move on up a little higher, for I'm striving to make heaven my home. Thus said the Lord, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, that I might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Oh, Satan, you might as well get thee hence behind me in the name of Jesus Christ. I am going to run this race all the way home for my Lord. I've got to move on up a little higher, for I'm striving to make heaven my home. When things get too much for me to bear, I just take it to the Lord in prayer and ask the Lord, please let his will be done. You might as well move, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sealed and delivered. I know that I belong to the Lord. When I've completed running this race for my Lord, I will lay down this old body of corruption, and I'll move on up to heaven and pick up the crown of righteousness. I'll look up into my master's face, and he will say, Oh, faithful servant, it's a race well run. You might as well step back, Satan. Step back. I'm striving to make heaven my home. These are the words that Mother has written. So y'all may as well get with her. She's got some powerful plans that'll take this kingdom and leave it for the people of God to be able to come in. So you got to set the kingdom of heaven up right here on earth. You got to put the word of God. You got to set up parameters where the people can come and pray and seek God's face. That's God's kingdom. Come on earth as it is in heaven. Let it be done. We're going to take a short break right now. And we have some guests that's going to be coming in, a lady all the way, young lady, all the way from Augusta, Georgia. That's right. She's going to be here today. Roshonda uh, Martin, I believe, is her last name. So she's an actress, a beautiful young lady, model, a great young lady. And I'm expecting her shortly with her film producer, Brother Lamont Brown, and they're going to be our guests today and talk about what good things they're doing in today's life. All right? So thank you for tuning in, and don't touch that dial. We'll be right back.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Have you given yourself away to the Lord God Most High? You know, that's one of the things that we should do. We should make our confession and we should just say, Lord, I'm giving myself to you because I know I'm in good hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not with all state. You good hands with the Most High God. So we have Brother Lamont Brown. He's stepping into the studio. And we want to welcome him, and he has brought his beautiful actress, Rashonda <laughs> Martin Butler. I had her to stand because she's such a beautiful lady. I said, she's a model. She's an actress. Can you sing, darling? No, ma'am. That is not my talent. talent. She said that's not her talent. Mm -hmm. no. But I just wanted you to see how beautiful she is. Kind of, kind of stroll around, honey. Do that little mouth oh, thing. Let the jacket yeah. drop. Show Let, my little, my little sister. How, how do you do that thing? Girl, don't, don't make me, don't make me, don't. <laughs> Girl, I'll do that. <laughs> All right, you can come on over and join me, and we're going right. to talk some more. All right. All right. That's my seat. Yes, that's your seat, darling. Now, uh, Mr. Brown, you can come and join us as well. We have a seat over there for you, if you don't mind. You can take that route and, and sit on that side. I think you're familiar with this studio. I'm so delighted to really be here. I'm filling in the sh for the I'm filling in the shoes. I can't fill in the shoes, but I'm filling in the seat okay. for Mother Shirley Knight Harris. Mm -hmm. She has a beautiful ministry okay. called A Mother's Cry. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that I have not lost anyone. And that's to the grace of God. Yes, amen. That he's blessed me and my children, me and my seed. Praise the Lord. And we are blessed forever because we are the head and not the tail. The above only and not the beneath. Hallelujah. We are covered by his blood. Yes, amen. You understand? We walk in the magnificent power of the Holy Spirit. How about that? So what you know about that, girl? I know you're a young girl, but you know something. Huh? <laughs> I was raised up in the church, so yes, yes, I do. I know something about church. that. Yes, I have um, five generations of my own. Ooh. So um, I have not lost, been blessed. Glory and to God. And I, I definitely uh, sympathize with... Uh, the woman you're having to yes. see for. Yes. So, um, yes. yes. A mother's love is something that is so serious that you just don't want to take for granted. Irreplaceable. 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 Cannot Absolutely. be replaced. So now I want to make sure we're being heard properly. How is our microphone? It's good. We got LaRon. Brother LaRon is standing in for Brother Rock. So I just want to make sure we've got everything because when the report gets back to mother and she watches the show, I want her to be happy and proud. What you say? Yes, <laughs> honey, yes. Now, I told them you mm -hmm. are from, wait a minute, Augusta, Georgia. I am from Augusta, Georgia. I yes, got I it right. Yes, I am. So talk to us about Augusta, Georgia. Uh, Augusta, Georgia is uh, it is the second largest city in Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, I've been there all my beautiful years on this earth. Okay. Um, I travel. I'm a traveling actress, so uh, I go by the way of Atlanta, but I am definitely, will not, a shadow of a doubt, will not claim my city. I am from Augusta. Um, hey. Very nice. We're growing. We're growing okay. in, in, a, a, in a nice direction. Okay. Yes. Excellent. We're, Excellent. We're coming Excellent. from um, old shadows and old clouds, and now oh. the new generation that's in the office now is going to take Augusta to the next level. Oh, that sounds good. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I so am. that's like a President Barack Obama coming in, taking over America, and changing things and turning things around for the good. Yes. That's what's uh, happening in Augusta, huh? Mayor, Mayor Harold Davis and okay. um, Senator-elect um, Harold Jones. <laughs> Harold and Harold. Right, right. I just thought about that. <laughs> now, now, you said your last name is Butler. Martin Butler. Martin Butler. Yes, Martin Butler. Now, my my uh, great grandmother, we she's known as Mother Butler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Praying woman of God, honey. She's from Louisiana, so we've got Butlers in our family. Okay. And I don't think we have any Martins, but we've got some Butlers, and uh, Davis. We got Davis. That's on my daddy's side, so okay. it might be kin to your mayor. But this is a, 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 a country, I think we're all related somewhere down the line. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now talk to me about your project. What brings you here to California? I am here to uh, come out. I'm affiliated with Lamont Brown. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'm working on a project, The Hills. The Hills? Yes. It's going to be a hot new banger, a movie, a motion movie. Um, it's about a young man who is following his father's footsteps. Okay. okay. Um, Trey Island. 
So I used to um character, lead character. Trey Allen. All right. right. Shout, shout out to you, Trey Allen. Shout out, shout out. Um, let's see. Um, they're living in a city of um, corruption. Uh-oh. Of the justice system. Uh-oh. Right. So this young man, um, Trey Allen, is going through, and um, he's in a city where his um, father lived or whatever. Okay. So he's on a journey um, correcting it. Oh. Whatever, same path, and he, you know, get mixed up. People that killed his father is now after him trying to do the same thing. Uh-oh. So as the story unfolds and stuff like that, you know, definitely you need to watch it when it comes out okay. to be announced. Now, who wrote right. this? Who wrote this? Stephen Sticks Joseph. Stephen Sticks. Yes, jo- is, yes, he yes. Sticks? is he a drama? Sticks is he a drama? He's musically <laughs> a clown. He's musically is, a clown. Is, yes, he, is he? Yes, he's um, going to be um, the music person. The scenes or whatever. Okay, so he's awesome. the one do, he's one of the men that does all the things. You know? Oh, I Living love kind. it. Yeah, one of all, a renaissance man. Thing. He can do some of everything. Yes, um, there's a, a lot of uh, big artists uh, that you know pave the way for actors like myself or yes, whatever. Yes. Uh, we have Clifton Power in the movie. Okay. Yes, awesome guy. He's so funny. Or oh, my yeah. Gooding from Baby Boys, also in the movie. Oh, really? Yes. Maxine Jones from um, In Vogue. Oh, yes, yes. Jones. I've yes. heard of her and saw her pictures. Oh, yeah. let's see. Holly Joy Gaines is also in the movie. Oh, uh, oh yeah. It's, it's a bunch of talented people. Oh, my That's gosh. Great. I want to make sure I, I get everybody and I don't forget anybody. I also want to... Cinda Williams for yeah. More Better Blues. Cinda Williams. The one that played Clark in More Better Blues. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's okay. one of the stars. That sounds great. That Danny, sounds great. Danny Green, a great uh, local comedian out here from Los Angeles. Okay, um, okay. He's in it as well. Excellent, excellent. Now, Mr. Brown, since you began to speak, what? Malik, Malik Whitfield's in oh, it. Oh, Malik Whitfield. Yeah, from okay. The Temptation Story. Oh, okay. Ball. Now, what part are you playing in this overall? Um, I'm one of the executive producers. What? And like music, they say, hush your mouth. <laughs> and music supervisor uh, with uh, Sticks and Maxine Jones. Oh, that's awesome. There's three of us. That's I'm gonna awesome. Put it together. So how do you feel about this project? Um, we feel good about it. Uh, Styx is a real talented individual. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been in the music game for a while, okay. like myself, and we've been talking about this project for about about five years. We've been talking about this movie. How about that? And and I was you know busy at work working on the Howard Hewitt album. You still live inside of me working on that right now. Okay. And in the process, uh, Styx just called me out of the rail one night and was like. Uh, I want you to, you know, get down with me on this movie. Oh, and, he, wow. and, and he told me who was attached to it. And I was like, well, you know, <laughs> where do we go to work? Where, where do we start? Where, where, where do we start? <laughs> so, How about um, that? Yeah, we, we've been filming in, in Atlanta this last month. And we got a few things to knock out here in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, because the story takes place in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we used uh, Coco Studios in Atlanta. Oh. Is where we uh, did the filming. Cool. You know, everybody's cool. going to a, uh, that style, that Tyler Perry style, where you have a lot, mm-hmm. and a lot of things are done on that lot in the mm-hmm. sound studio. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were out there doing a bulk of the recording of the movie, the That's filming of the movie right. there. Okay. And uh, we're done in Atlanta, and now we're going to do the L.A. thing. and Yeah. Maybe. So you're filming in L.A. now? or? Uh, we start on the 10th. We'll be, April the 10th. Yeah, and we'll be here for that? a little while. And we'll be wrapping up. So, so positive things. That sounds um, very positive. Yes. So now, Miss Rashonda Martin Butler, yes. how long are you going to be here in Los Angeles? I will be here till Monday. My Monday. Flight takes off Monday. Yes. Are you coming back? Absolutely. I, oh, Absolutely. That's right. And then you're coming back before the tenth, right? For Come the, back for the tenth. Yes, because she won't said be that, that quick. I, I won't be back that quick. Oh. Yes, I have an audition for David E. Talbert to go to, so I, oh, I, I got to make that. Oh, David E. Talbert. Yes, yes. What's yes. his? What's the one of the big things he did? Something about faith, a good wife, hard yes. to find, or something like. Oh, gosh, what? It would put him on the tip of my tongue if he went to change. Ah, oh, man. I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I God. know of his works. Definitely, I know of David E. Talbert's works. So shout out to you, my brother. Mm-hmm. Now, what else has been in your uh, path of, of entertainment and okay. life, ministry? You have brothers, sisters. What's happening? Um, let's see. I'm also in L.A. for the L.A. Web Fest, um, the web series that I'm a part of called Karma. We were nominated for 15 awards. So uh, I'll be on panel on tomorrow at the uh, Marriott. I believe that's where I have to do panel. Okay, okay. And I have to do that all day. So take up all day. How so about I'm that? cool. I'm happy. I'm super excited about it. Um, 
I feel that we're going to take all these awards home, take them back to Georgia. You've been nominated for 15 awards? 15. That's every category. Are every you award. serious? Yes. Now, who's the writer of this web? His name is Carlton Clay. Carlton Clay is from Augusta, Georgia. Carlton yes. Clay. I like yes. that name. Yes. Um, a few people came up here with me that flew in with me. It was Carlton Clay, um, Terrence Williams, and Shataria Stokes. They all wow. came up with, um, for the web series nomination. So, um, I love those names. Those are some good names. They're powerful, ain't they? Yeah, they are. Yes, I can feel yes, that. Yes, I can yes, feel yes, that. Yes, yes. Um, I also just got done with Lipstick Monologues. It's a, a very powerful production about women. Um, we women always hide things and push things under the rug and, and under the rug instead of embracing our path and walking and you know God's true gift that we truly have. You yeah. know, some of us have stories that we're afraid to be and afraid to show, mm -hmm, but those mm -hmm. are the stories that are going to uplift the generation that's in front of us oh, and wow. give them a path to be on. I so love just it. got finished with that. Um, we'll be going back on the stage in Atlanta again in August. We're also looking to make it into a, a full tour. Okay, yeah. so that means you'll be looking to come back to California with this. Huh? Absolutely, always, always. All right, so we need to get some sponsorships talking, right? Yes, yes. All right, y'all, your money people, get your money together, baby, because I got something for you to put your money on right over here. Right over here. You have, <laughs> uh -oh. you have a, um, a main character in the movie that we didn't mention, but what? she should, yes. Claudia Jordan, uh, Atlanta Housewives. She's, okay. she's been a major, major advocate for this thus far uh-huh um, uh-huh uh -huh. she really really plugging it out there claudia jordan yeah. atlanta housewives you go girl she's one of the stars also outstanding outstanding yeah. but this is then okay give us the name of the movie again the hills the hills it's a stephen sticks josie film stephen sticks josie film yes now what's that scripture i will look to the hills for whence cometh my help because what my, My help, help comes from the Lord. Yes, amen. Woo, that's outstanding. Now, how can we reach you? How can we see some of your works? Are you on YouTube? Yes, I am. You can um, YouTube me at Martin R1008, M-A-R-T-I-N-1008. You can also Facebook me at Rashonda Martin Butler. You can Instagram me at Rashonda MB. Rashonda is spelled R A S H O N D A. Okay. Last name is Martin M A R T I N hyphen B U T L E R. That's it, girl. That's yes, it. Yes. All yes, right. Yes. That sounds really exciting, and I want you all to go and check her out and be prepared to see the hills now when is the hills expected to actually hit the screens or is it going that's, to be a box that, office like the it's definitely hbo gonna, thing or what it's definitely going to be at the box office um we can't really give you an exact date because we're just wrapping up filming now okay okay but i would look forward at you know toward the end of the summer okay yeah that sounds good yeah, that sounds good it. Coming to a city near you. Coming to a city near you. Y'all hear that right? This is one of the executive. You are the executive producer or one of the executive one producers? One of them. There's a, quite a few. Is that right? Yeah. So that means, see, when you're the executive producer, that means you got money, you got <laughs> skills, you got contacts. You know how to get the job done, see? So I'm going to have to stick close to this brother Brown, Mr. <laughs> Lamont Brown. What's the name of your production company or your management company? Uh, Smooth Entertainment Group, uh, Lingo Brown, and Incendiary Entertainment Group. I have a few companies. Oh, look at here, but see. Those, but those are the three. Those are you, you, smooth you give, you give me entertainment. A, you give me a one of those. And look for that new Howard Hewitt album. Now, now, now tell me about the Howard Hewitt album again. Uh, we you, heard one of those songs. You, it was really good. You Still Live Inside of Me. Uh, we about 90%, uh, about 80% done with the record. He That's came awesome. here. He came here yes. with me a few months back. And yes, I remember that. He did one of the other shows. I have a picture of you all on my my website. He, he's actually <laughs> um, in the UK right now with Shalimar doing Seven Days. Are you serious? Yeah, right now. Make that we, move right, right now, now baby. Hey, um, you go, yeah. Howard. There's a lot of positive things going on. That's, so. that's good. See, this is the year. This is the season. It yeah. is the season. This is the season. We're on the top. And just watch. We're rising even higher. Mm -hmm. I'm in there too, y'all. <laughs> Everybody got to get out there and plant them seeds, you know. Right. And water them. You know, it's, like the and let the in, let God get the increase. That's what it said. I've That's been right. in this for I've been in this business for 23 years, and when I look back, and I see all the seeds this planted, it's, mm -hmm. it ain't too really many, too many people out there we can't really reach out and touch. You better say that. That I mean, is if the I truth. can't get on get to them directly, I can get to them indirectly. I know that's right. So that means that nobody that you cannot get with, you can get with anybody that we need, right? 
I mean, pretty much. I love it. I love you know? it. Like I said, if I can't get them directly, I, you know I, at how least to get somebody in my downline could get to them. I love that. That's good talking. And that's what talking. this business is all about, really, is networking and keeping the relationships fluid. Uh-huh. Because a lot of times you'll have discrepancies with people as time go on. And yes, humans, yes. Just like uh, a man have a trouble with his wife at times. Uh-huh. And we have trouble with our kids at times or whatever. But any door that you go through, you want to keep the doors of communication open oh, enough right. to where you can go through them. Okay. Again, come back. I've, again. Had, I've had situations in the past. Anybody that got know any history of me in this business, Uh-oh. know I've had scenarios where it was like a livid situation. But I'm gonna stand my ground okay. if it's what it's supposed to be. And I All think right. a real person will recognize that. And if you had a discrepancy, when you come back to the table, if they know that that stance you took was a serious stance, and that you were in the right with that stance. You always be able to come and talk to that person again. Okay. You know? That sounds good. I love it. Now, you know I'm sitting here looking at you. Okay. Now, have you been told that you look like, oh, God, his name is... LL Cool J. Cool J. Cool J. Come on, give me that. Ah! LL Cool J was mine, girl. Oh, no, that, that's a good look, too, see? <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because I get that or Ving Rhames in the two. Oh, right. yes, and the two yes. Don't look, and, the, and the two don't look neither alike to me. Dude, so but weird. yes. But, you know. Oh, my are, God. Successful guys. So of take, course they I'll are. Take it. You'll take it. Yeah, I almost had a girl when I was younger. Uh-oh. I had a girl almost run me off the one-on-one freeway Shut thinking up. I was L. Cool J. <laughs> I was in what? one of the drop top bins I had at the time, and I'm uh-oh, rolling. Uh-oh. And her and her friend, they looked, they, they caught me at like a light right before we got on the freeway, and they was like, ah. So I sped up. <laughs> uh-uh. I messed with them. I sped up uh-uh. so they couldn't get a good look at me, right? <laughs> so they racing through and almost ran me into the divider don't trying to go catch there, up don't with me. Go there. They oh finally my God. got up next to me, and they seen me good, and they was like, that ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. I feel, I feel used. Oh, wow. I feel used. You know you too much. I love this. This is a great combination. I feel, I feel used. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a little music break. I have a CD in the CD player. Number three is already ready. We're going to take a little music break and then we'll come right back and we'll see what's next. All right? This is a mother's cry, but we ain't crying now. Baby, we laugh and have a good time because God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. You better know it.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, you know what? The thing about this, it gets gooder and gooder as the minutes go by. You know that's good English, right? But it does get better and better. And that's what it's all about here uh, with A Mother's Cry. We want to bring you some positive results to the fasting and the praying that we've been doing. Mother has a great vision and she is definitely one that is a hardworking woman. And so this is a part of the fruits of her labor. And I want you all to know that Mother will be looking forward, I'm sure, to have all of these wonderful guests appear again and also put something on the stage called A Mother's Cry. Mm -hmm. Now you told me, Rashonda, about a project that you worked on that had some about mother's love and war and love and they fought oh, and then they had yes. fashion. I love that story. Tell me With, about that. Um, the Lipstick Monologue production. Oh, that's what that's a part that's of? That's the Lipstick Monologue. Yes, um, there were three scenes in the uh, production. You have um, women of war, women of love, and women of lust. Mm. Um, you also have inside this um, production is a full fashion show. You have the um, designers that design just for the scene of love. Then you have the designers that design for the scene of war, mm. and then for the sign for the lust scene. Mm. I am the woman of war. Uh oh. Yes, I'm the woman of revenge. Uh oh. I, I play Tia, cute, guilty as charged. Yes, I, oh I'm the gosh. woman. Uh, I represent the women that where um, the husbands come home and they uh, tell the wives that they're leaving them for some other woman. So uh, uh -oh. I do in my monologue uh, do some foul things to my husband. What? And in the name of love, now remember when you in love, you do some strange things. Oh now you gosh. this has happened to you. You're a woman. Uh oh. And you've been on this earth a long time, so I know <laughs> love make you do some things. Oh lord. You know. Mm. So um. She'd been on the show yesterday. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. But uh, definitely that, that character um, is, you know, uh, is a step outside of myself. I've uh, never experienced it in that manner or whatever, so I did love portraying it. It also uh, shows a, a bipolar woman mm. um, where she's a little crazy, but she's always happy. Oh, my you know? God. And she does the foul things in the bipolar manner. Oh, my God. But then she comes back with that loving thing later. With the loving thing, always, oh, always, she always, 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 always about the love. We also Damn. have other um, ladies that discuss um, different uh, monologues. Uh, you have the the lady who struggles with being a lesbian. Oh, All wow. her life, she um, thought she loved men, but inside she knew that she chased another feeling, and um, she tried to hide it from her family, hide it from herself. She ran from oh, God. She went through wow. a whole lot of stuff. So um, that is a very powerful um, monologue. There's also um, the monologue where um, the mother was being in, in a domestic violence relationship. Mm. And the daughter came in and covered and took over and started the healing for her mother. Mm. You know, so now the child is now became the protector, protector and the provider for her mother. I gotta know, get this to, play out here. I might have to absolutely. go, go and, and, and put my bag and clothes on and say, look here, I have a production that I need to bring yeah. here. Y'all gonna have to help me. Yes. I love that. Writer and director Audrey Ori, she's based out of um, Atlanta. She okay. has wrote this beautiful book yeah. called oh, I Am Consciously Be Beautiful. Yes, and the monologues are based on this book. We gotta get her here. You got to. She's very in um, inspirational, empowering, uplifting, and she really do push women to be the best who they can be. Oh, we so gotta get it. Wednesday's honor. woman, we gotta get this woman yes. out here. It is an honor working for her. I have a crew on my show called Wednesday's Woman. We're gonna have to put our dollars together and make sure this comes. So now, what's her name again? Because we want to get in contact with her. Her name is Audrey Ori. Audrey Ori. Okay, Audrey, we, pop, we popping you here. We popping you out here. www.audreyori.com www.lipstickmonologues.com okay. This is yes. exciting, exciting. All right, now, is there anything else you would like the listening and viewing audience to know about you? Uh, yes, definitely look out for me. Look out for my work. Um, I am looking for opportunity to come out here and work in L.A. to be a full-time actress, model, entrepreneur, pursue things, and network. I am a family of networking, you know, oh. building relationships and um, keeping everything moving. That's my thing. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, is anybody going to miss you? Miss me? In, in, in uh, uh, Georgia. Oh, yes, I have family. <laughs> I do. I do. I got family. Um, my sisters and brothers, definitely. I'm the oldest um, of 13. Yes, oh I come from a large God. family. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I have five generations of my own. That means I have five children. 
I really what? Do. I have one you son. You do not have five children. Stop it. Yes, I do. Girl, get out of here. Yes, yes. Where? Uh, where? You really have five children. Yeah, I always tell people I care about my big feet. I got big feet. <laughs> You are off to say, I love girl, I have five children also. Give me some high five. Yeah. Big family. We really rock. Uh, wow. I truly in it. Um, but my family is behind me 100 strong. They're pushing my career. I'm Excellent. Pushing, um, Excellent. I have right, a shout very, out family love. Woohoo. Very strong support system. So, um, yes. And my father, Robert Miller. Uh, All right, Dad. He's definitely back at home. My mother um, is deceased. Oh, mama. So, uh, and my beautiful grandmother, Roberta Martin. Okay. I Roberta am, Martin. Roberta Martin. Now, you know, there was a Roberta Martin that did a lot of gospel singing. I don't know if that's... You don't want to hear her sing. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's like cats on the wall. And, and, <laughs> and okay. Never mind. <laughs> so, great, great. We definitely do look forward to supporting you. I'm not going to say we want to support. We are going to support you because we're doing our start right here. Mm -hmm. But we want to really support your vision and getting Absolutely. you here. And I'm Absolutely. sure Mr. Brown is very much in the corner of helping you get right. your vision accomplished right here right. in Los Angeles. God is my first man. Hey! Yes, God Shout out to God! Yes. <laughs> I prayed on January 1st that the Lord opened the doors. Okay. I will follow him as okay. he guide me. Okay. Yes. Oh my God! That's my God. That's my God. He Thank opened them and I'm walking right on through them and laying the law down just like oh. the tip. Wow, no I'm deviation. so inspired. Don't deviate. Oh my <laughs> Stay God, on I'm the course inspired. with the Lord. Stay on the course. <laughs> she said she wrote it out, spoke it out, prayed it out, and the mm -hmm. Lord is manifesting and is still continuing it's to still manifest. still manifesting in my life every day. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So happy to hear that. Now give your Google, YouTube information again. Okay. Email, however, and then we're going to uh, go back to Mr. Brown. All right. Rashonda Martin Butler, Facebook. R-A-S-H-O-N-D-A. M A R T I N hyphen B U T L E R. Mm -hmm. My Instagram is Rashonda M B R A S H O N D A M B. My email is Martin R one thousand eight at gmail dot com. Right. M A R T I N one zero zero eight at gmail dot com. Come on, y'all. Let's give it up for her. Everybody's in the house now. I know I'm not the mm -hmm. only hand clapper in the place. Do we have the I automatic know, hand claps? Come on. Give it up for my girl. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> the Lord. Yeah, yes. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl. Came here looking all golden and everything. When I saw her yesterday, the door opened up and that golden hair was like shine and you better go ahead, girl. It's Rashonda. Rashonda. That's right. That's I'm right. I'm so happy to be here. Um, there is something With, else yeah. I would like to yes, um, darling, say. Yes. Um, before I got into this um, acting career, I was a full-time substitute teacher what? in our county for eight years. What? Yes. Um, a, a full-time educator because I knew that that wasn't the place wasn't I should be mm -hmm. because somebody would be calling the police on me Stop at it. work. So Stop we didn't want this to happen. Oh my God. So um, I stayed in my lane like the Lord told me to do was stay in my lane. Uh. But um, while, I there, uh, while I was there, I took the time to inspire, encourage, and uplift um, our young generation. Oh, our young wow. teens really need us to get behind them and push and encourage them. Yes. Um, they're so used to, to things being hit, put on a silver platter to oh them my. that they don't want to work for what, oh what it is for goodness. them anymore. Mm. So um, if you know a youth, see a youth, so into that youth, and um, it'll come back a hundred times fold. I, I do oh, truly wow. miss it. Um, I am in my city the the number one substitute in the county. I can go to any school, and it's Mrs. Martin Butler. Oh so, <laughs> um, love it. Um, I definitely want to give out, um, a shout out to all my students in Richmond County. Oh. Yes, I love them guys. Oh. They keep me strong. They do. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I have to come back there to uh, Georgia. I have to come to Augusta and by way of Atlanta because my brother's there. And I told him I was going to be coming and Harvey Scales is there. I told you about Harvey Scales. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I ain't going to go there no further because this is the mother's cry gospel, <laughs> keeping it all gospel. But, yeah, this is great. So look for me, honey. I'm coming too, okay? Now, Mr. Brown. I love calling that, you know, Mr. Brown. <laughs> I feel like you're a parole officer. So. Oh, my God! I'm like, God. What you know about a parole officer? Like, you don't know nothing about a parole like, officer. I'm like, what's up? Ah! Well, now you mentioned the Howard Hewitt project, how you are in that production area for that. Now, this song, we were able to find it on YouTube. I hope Mother doesn't mind. You said the name of it is, again is what? This, this song is called You Still Live Inside of Me, and uh, it was written by uh, Gary Brown, a real fabulous writer. Okay. out of New York City, um, co-produced by Flip Matrix, myself, Gary Brown, Alton Jackson II, uh, production team I have called The Veterans. We all been, we all got four, 
four fifths in this, you know, 20 the years veterans, plus. The veterans. So uh, we okay. co-produced it together. It's a little different twist for Howard. Okay. Um, you know, we've kind of lightly had it out there, but we we have a vehicle now where it's going to be gonna go hitting, wild. hitting mainstream here in the next couple of months. So this is a video? Yes, yeah, a video. And Howard and Howard's constantly out there, you know, touring. I love it. The country. I love it. Like I said, he's out in the UK now doing seven days with Shalimar. Okay. And that song he did, oh my God, Say Amen. So we know he's a man of God. That's at heart. a standard. Yeah. yeah. He does a gospel song on every album. We'll have one on oh, this one. Oh, definitely. That's beautiful. Okay, every so Mother Doesn't does. Mind. Mother, Howard Hewitt, you know him from way back in the group Shalimar. Mm hmm. He has a gospel song, but this song, you. Still live inside you of me. You still live inside of me. You still live inside of me. And we know that can be definitely related and attributed to the spirit of the Lord God Most High still living inside of us. Thank you, Lord. So enjoy this video, and we'll be right back. You know I never loved anyone mm -hmm. The way that I loved you Took a year and two relationships Just to find No one can love me like you do but something died inside and I can't hide the way I feel Try to make myself believe it wasn't really real There's so many feelings I just can't erase I try to hide it but it's written on my face times I've tried You know the hardest part about losing you Is not knowing what went wrong But I guess somewhere along the way we lost our faith Couldn't seem to work it out But now you're gone and there's so many feelings I just can't erase I try to hide it but it's written on my
inside of me. Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> Breathless, huh? Yes, that's so beautiful. Now, I was looking at that and I realized the names, some of the names were related. Now tell me, that's his son? That's Howard's son? Yeah, that's, um, you, you actually led right where I was getting ready to go. Uh, Christopher Hazel, Chris Hazel is Christopher Hewitt, which is Howard Hewitt and Nia People from Fame's son. Wow. I but remember they go. were married. So there yeah. you go, just another, just another way things are connected. Wow. Accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose. You know what I'm saying? What? And, and, now, and, now, <laughs> and now you got, um, well, for a while now, you got Carolyn Griffey mm -hmm. that sings with Shalimar, uh, that's Dick Griffey's daughter. Okay. Who owned Shalimar. Okay. okay. Who owned The Whispers. All of them was on yes. Solar Records back that. in the day. I remember She's that. She's over there in London right now with Howard and Jeffrey Daniels doing the Shalimar wow. deal. How about that? So she probably grew up watching them and well, being those, in the studio and all of that. Those are the uncles. All them people walking through. Oh, my God. Those the uncles. Imagine the history going through that building. Of course. Now, I even, like I was telling her yesterday, it's like a lot of the music I came wow. up on in the 90s is funniest because of, like, you know, even the Howard stuff because I was like a Shalimar fan. My, yes, of course. Howard was like my <laughs> uncle's all-time favorite singer. Okay. So it's like, it's weird because you get into business mode and with me, it's like, Business is business. I kind of mm. don't care who you are, really. Okay. Um, but you have to pay homage and respect yes, to the yes. people that have paved the way. Of course. But sometimes you get caught up in business, and it's like you forget that, you know, this is Howard Hewitt. Do you understand? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but it's, it's Howard Hewitt. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, that's a big deal. That's a big, in name. The that's a big deal. In the R&B community for people oh, that yes. know R&B. Shalimar, big deal. Yes. Like I was telling her yesterday, it's like, like a lot of the music that I grew up on is like, you know, Troop, Howard, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, New Edition, a lot of these cats, yes. it's like, I work with these cats now. Okay. So it's yeah. like it's like a trip for it to go kind of full circle in a sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you actually have the privilege to be able to work with some of the stuff you came up on you know, as a youngster. I, I know exactly That led what you to you get mean. into the business That's to begin right. with. That, that passion and that love. I had the opportunity in the 80s from I would say 82 to 85 to work with Smokey Robinson I met the OG Temptations David Ruffin Eddie Kendricks and all of them and uh, Blue which was the uh, Franklin <laughs> and uh, I met Lionel Richie at that time because we were at Points at a Park Hitsville studio was across the street and I was singing I was a singer for three years for smoke was for Smokey's sister Mm -hmm. Rosella Jones, and we recorded at Smokey's house, the home studio. You know, we can go in the refrigerator and make a sandwich, you understand? So I felt like Disneyland, that Disneyland feeling, this is Smokey Robinson, baby, baby, don't cry. You, you understand? So that whole little, you know, thing that I was in for a long time was like, and I, I just was totally oblivious to the east side of life where I, used, where I lived, you know, because I was hanging out in Beverly Hills now. But that is something that will never leave my mind. And I'm still trying to get my, you know, feet back up in there because that was a real life. It wasn't just a dream. So I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, it, it, it's, it's crazy because I had to, I was fortunate enough to work with Gladys Knight. Uh, and from really like from like 2000 to 2000. Uh, two. That's a good and, time. That's a good and time. And we we uh, actually recorded just one of the main songs we did that ended up being the first single for her at last album, which won a Grammy. Uh oh. Um, we did the first single. Uh oh. And if we weren't on the air. I could tell you the story that <laughs> yeah, led yeah, yeah. to us having that. Oh my God! Uh, oh, and around. our time is running but out. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it, God is good. Oh, he is. And, awesome. and I and I was in a situation when I'm actually at her house. Work on the record, being a 28 year old kid at the time. Wow! It's like, I'm like, I'm in Gladys, Gladys Knight's house, <laughs> working on a record. How about that? To me, my career was done after oh, that. Do I, didn't have, I didn't have to do anything else. You have made but it. But when we get an opportunity, and we're blessed, we have to. Like I talked about the window earlier. Uh -huh. When the window opens up, yeah. Because whatever you did, mm -hmm. 
everyone has a season and that season ends. Wow. So if you're not getting as much content content in the marketplace as possible, your stay is going to be short lived. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, yes. You gotta have as, you gotta have you gotta have as much content uh -huh. ready to go. And I I'm fortunate. I feel fortunate enough. Like I said yesterday to you, and was on the phone. It's like we have enough music for the next 20 years. Oh wow. And uh -huh. most of it's from name people that have sold a million albums or better. Mm. So you well, know. Well, I I want to be on the list because I need a producer. I need a producer. Actually, both the producers that I've worked with are living in Atlanta. Wow. They've been there for a few years, both of them. Roy Creighton and Kenny Smith, they're in Atlanta. Anyway, it's been a great time. It's been a great day on a mother's cry. I tell you, we ain't crying no more, baby. The Lord has wiped our tears. He's blessed us. And for those of you who are still crying, you call mother and let her know you need a prayer. And if nothing else, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. And you all learn to pray for yourself, okay? Keep looking up, God bless you, and know this is your season, all right? Peace.